Jackson. Come on, little Michael Jackson. Why, why are your legs so stiff? I can't believe September has come and gone that quickly. Um, as you can see, uh, it's cooler out. The sun has, has died down. It's not 90 degrees out. I have on a cardigan. As you can tell, fall is here and it's here to stay. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into uh, the latest and the greatest for September. For those of you who are new to this vlog, my name is Sly. I'm an air director with Young Life from the east end of Pittsburgh. My smoking hot wife and myself, Amy moved from Colorado a little over a year ago now, which is crazy to me to even imagine and disbelieve. But we've been here on the east end of Pittsburgh and we've been per mostly at Older Dice, Taylor Older Dice, which is a high school and I'm a cross country track coach there and we're just building the most momentum at that school right now. We have three leaders, which is exciting to even talk about and you'll see a little bit more of them in this, or you'll hear me talk about them a little bit more in this vlog, but uh, we are just establishing just great relationships with students, with teachers, with admin, with parents. I'm um, overall building up great and healthy community on the east end of Pittsburgh. Uh, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and transition into uh, this next video. Check it out. Yeah. We're at the red, white, and blue invitation. Dear one, man, Ian, how you feeling, Ian? Are you game ready? Oh, he's better to kill it. You ready, Ian? Are you ready to do this? Oh, uh, yeah, we're doing, we're doing better. That's what I'm talking about. We're about to get in here. We're about to do it here with the twins, Muhammad and Mustafa. Mustafa and Ahmed. Ahmed and Mustafa. First day at cross country. How you guys feeling? I'm feeling Tired. great. I'm Tired. feeling great. You feeling great? All right, was it yeah, was great. it as easy as you thought it was going to be? No. 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 Bro. But are you coming back out again? Yes, I'm coming out. That's every what day. I'm talking about. Yeah, every I'm not, day. I'm not missing Stronger and better than I'm missing the day. I ain't signed up for nothing, bro. I'm not. They ain't signed up for nothing. Snapchat, Instagram. Yeah. Give me all them handles. For Boom. The ladies, for the ladies. Oh my gosh, for the ladies. Oh my Atlanta. <laughs> they did it. They completed it. Their first run for their season. More to come. I could seriously go on for days about countless stories that I, I experienced with the cross country team, um, but I, I won't do that. I will spare you those stories. However, uh, last year I came on as a cross country coach and, and then came back this final year and I actually got to go to Deep Creek down in Maryland for run week. And we literally ran an entire week. We did about 62.3 miles. It was a great time, however, if you want to see some more of that, that footage, go to August update and you can clearly check it out. But the reason I say this is I came in and all I really was to those kids at that time was just a, a cross country coach. And now coming in, there's been such growth with the relationships that I have with the boys where they are talking to me more, a little bit more about life, uh, you know, what's going on in their lives. And I'm also, I'm at a point where I've earned the right to actually engage with them more about what's going on in their life, things that they're doing, decisions that they're making. And so this has been really cool to see that kind of grow and to kind of build upon that in this last year. Uh, however, cross country has been going really well. Um, as you can see in that video I just showed you, um, boys are looking really strong. Girls are doing a great job too. Girl power for those girls that might be watching this. Those girls, you are strong runners as well. But the boys have been really taking first seed, actually taking first place in the last three invitation as we've, we've, we've done in, in September and we're, we're only looking better for state so I'm excited last year we were 12th I'm hoping to be you know top 10 if not top 5 going into states in November and we'll talk more about that um, however out of all that cross country that's been going well my leaders oh my gosh they've been so cool I mean just showing up to the school um, we started in, in September. They had no idea. They, they didn't know any kid. They had no relationships. And to really see um, what's already happened and occurred within three, four weeks of school. Uh, we started out this awkward, you know, kids not knowing who they were, me introducing them to kids to fast forward three weeks ahead. Uh, kids are actually coming up to them and they're talking to them. They're engaging with them. They're starting to see that they have similarities and it's just been really great and going to football games and Realizing that it's not just me. It's not just Amy But we actually have a team of people that are coming on a daily basis to the school that are praying for the school That are supporting the school in different ways And so it's just been really great 
I'm more so in the cross country track world. You know, I'll be transitioning into doing music for the basketball game. But Spencer is a phenomenal dancer and he gets the opportunity to uh, lead dance for uh, Taylor Oderdice and Becca. Uh, she wanted to do chair and I introduced her to the chair coach and now she's helping out with chair and Sarah she's phenomenal as well she's going to be helping out with theater and it's just really cool to see now this one pocket or this one group of people uh, or an area that I was only in now being spread out throughout the whole entire school and I'm just excited for what's to come so I thank you guys so much if you see this thank you I love you guys so much I seriously am proud and, and, and amazed at what you guys are doing. Um, check out this, this video really quick. I'm here with my man Eli, Dirty Spence, right Tayshawn, Mr. Rob, doing hey, our first uh, service. Uh, all right, all right. right here. First service project yeah, no, for Easton. We we're about to get into it. We're doing a little painting, a little cleaning. I'm excited about this. We'll clean this all up and looking good. Check out the before and after pictures. Can you believe this? In the middle of my video, it starts to rain, but guess what? It's such a beautiful view, and I, hopefully you, you notice that. You know, I'm trying to switch it up. I don't want to always be on the couch, but I also don't want to be or, you know, in front of graffiti all the time as well. I do love graffiti, don't get me wrong. I think it's a cool art form. However, look at this. This is just beautiful. And maybe if you know what it is, maybe you can like leave a little comment and see, like, hey, you're at this place right now. Needless to say, I just showed you a video of some kids doing some community service, and that was our first community service project for September and I'm I loved it you know I got that through a guy on my committee's name is Chuck Gerby great man and he contacted me one day and said like hey you say you want to do community service but well, I got the perfect thing for you to do and he set everything up and we were able to just come in to that area when we did it in Lawrenceville as you saw it was the Lawrenceville sign and yeah the boys they come from Hazelwood they don't usually hang around in Lawrenceville and so for them, they were just like, hey, like, what are we doing? Like, why? And it was really great to explain the why. And overall, what takes place in Hazelwood, what takes place um, in East Liberty and Highland Park and Lawrenceville, they may all look different, but they all have needs. And so we needed to clean that up a little bit. And as you can see, check these uh, before and after pictures out really quick. As you can see, we all have needs, and I want to. I wanted to actually transition that into us as as people. You know, we all might come from. We might come from highly affluent families. We might come from low income families. But overall, bottom line is, we all have a need, and that's what I want to express to them. And I'm not saying that they got it right away, but slowly and surely, they're getting that idea more and more that hey, that person that seems materialistically to have everything or resources wise has everything. You know, that person still has a need as well and I have a need as well. And overall, we're all called to be loved, to be valued, to have purpose. And I say that all the time, but I really do believe it. And they are actually starting to see that. You know, I think if I would have told them that the first week I met them, they would have been like, yeah, sure, whatever. But now they, they've been seeing me. I've been investing in them with my time. Time is the greatest currency or is one of our greatest currencies. And uh, they actually been able to see me investing in them, like spending time with them, taking them out to games, Speaking of games, that's a great segue. Check this out. Can you believe it? You got to take actually a little over like 10 like 10 kids to a pirates game and and at that picture you didn't see all of them some of them had to leave early but just the excitement you know a lot of those kids um they just i mean they they have so much access to so many things that going to a pirates game is some is not always on their radar but for them to just want to go to a game was so great and so thank you so much pittsburgh promise for giving those tickets like that was a big win on our side and so thank you so much and the kids had such a great time even kids that actually hate baseball they still had a great time because they got to hang out with some of their friends and just socialize and just get away from get, get away from the normal like go, get away from home or just sitting in their bedroom playing video games and so it was so much fun 
But the kids, it's just been really great to like reflect back on, you know, last year coming in and not even knowing students, but now knowing parents that I could actually, I could actually reach out to the parents and say, like, hey, we have tickets to a Pirates game. Can they come? While also asking students, but then also having Amy and Becca come as well. So you just really see this team of um, of support just coming around and coming alongside these these kids, and like they're really starting to see that we're here. There's so much more than coaching. It's so much more than meeting up at dismissal. But we're actually here to love them, to support them in any way we can we see fit. Um, and so it's been really cool. And uh, really quick, I, I I know my my videos can be long, but we go to this game, and we're there. We're and the sixth inning is zero one. Cubs are up. And they're playing the Pirates, and so it's around 9:30 at this time. I'm like, all right, we need to get these kids home. We, we took a van down. We had to drive everyone back home. We leave at 9:30. No lie to you, nine. We drop the first kid off. It's around 9:45, 9:50. We look at the score. It's 7-1. Pirates are up. I, we were so upset, but it was also really funny that we were just there moments before and it was 0-1 and then we leave so I think we were the bad luck charms I guess you could mark it up to that but overall we had a great time and like kids are looking forward to our next event out so it's just been really fun to actually see that. That's I used to do it on my neck. Ow, that it hurt. hurt. It's the tap of it. Here with my man Jack Jack all the way from Colorado to check out this NF concert in Pittsburgh. It's going to be crazy. How are you feeling about it, Jack Jack? Pretty excited. Um, first NF concert. First NF concert. This line is buck wild, too. I mean, it's, it's literally wrapped around the entire Stage AE venue. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. He forgot his butters, unfortunately, but he's still going to represent for NF. It's going to be a good time out there. Any, any last words? No. He's ready to, ready to have a fun time. I mean, there, there truly is beauty in just not knowing what to expect. And, and so as that video, there's some of those pictures and videos I just showed you, that's my man Jackson Barry, all the way from Colorado. And I mean, that's, that's a whole nother story in itself as well. But the Barry family, I love you guys so much. If it wasn't for you guys, meeting you guys in Philadelphia, we wouldn't have known of for the, or wouldn't have that opportunity to move to Colorado. And while being out there, they really became like our second family. And so, Got a phone call like back in probably July or June, and Jackson loves this this uh, artist named NF. If you haven't heard of him, check him out. It's literally NF, and if you really listen to his words, like even if you don't like rap or whatever the case, if you just listen to his words. He has some sweet content. Um, it's really powerful. It's life giving, and it really can it can really encourage you, and especially if you're going through cer certain situations. Needless to say, he really likes NF. And NF performs all around the world. However, he's not performing in Colorado where Jackson is. And so he texts me and says, hey, is there any way I could uh, come down to Pittsburgh and stay with you guys and then you could take me to the NF concert? And I said, absolutely. And so sure enough, he got the tickets and he came down and we got the opportunity just to hang out. He really is like a little brother to me and I'm so proud of him. I'm um, just everything he's a, a part of, everything from music to uh, studies, uh, like he's, he's just, He's just comfortable in his own skin. Like he's skateboarding, like he does it because he enjoys doing it. The music he listens to, he listens to it because he enjoys listening to it. And through that, he has the opportunity to connect with other kids around him and you know create relationships. But I really love that about Jackson. He really is like my little bro. So hats off to you. I'm so proud of you and everything that you're doing. Next time, next time you come down, we'll have more fun. I'll treat you to more food and uh, I'll also work on your your accuracy. We went to a fair. You're not going to see that, but this kid missed a couple balloons. And if he sees this video, he'll probably try to say that, you know, he was just warming up. But next time you come down, we'll work on your accuracy. Uh, but I really love that kid. I just wanted to really carve out a little bit of time just to say thank you so much. I had a great time. And for those of you who want to get a feel for what the concert was like, check this out. Put on my makeup and trying to self you forget what I'm saying. can I say the guy does go in all right I, I know I'm probably well over my time frame for the, the usual timeline for vlogging but I had September was just amazing and there's so much more 
to be had but or I could talk about but we really had a great time I mean everything from just really overall you know seeing that the leaders like showing up to the school really supporting those kids getting to know them just learning about them more um, and us as a team like you know we're growing as a team as well and we're learning about each other our behaviors and and personalities and how we can support one another that's been growing as well and so that's been fun cross country team is doing phenomenal so thank you um, the, the kids uh, I've been uh, having kids over on Sundays uh, for probably probably about three weeks now and that's been very really fun just having them come over they've been playing video games and we're just now getting to this point where we they have a space to process and just talk and think about things that they usually don't have the chance to do and so that's where we're at right now and we hope to build momentum with that just create a place for them uh, for them to think and process and feel comfortable overall but through that we'll transition that into fall weekend where they'll hear the gospel they'll be around other kids and you know we'll bring that momentum back home and hopefully open up the Bible and really open the Bible up and say like hey what really what stands out to you you know not what other people have told you but when you read this what do you what do you see what do you feel what are you thinking and so that's where we're at right now and so you can be praying for that and you can also be praying for our banquet October 10th when you see this you know we're either had the banquet or about to have the banquet and so you can be praying for that I mean the momentum is out there you know it's definitely still rising we're not at the place where um, um, where we thought we would be as far as like numbers but we do have a good amount of people coming through tons of silent auctions so if you see this video and you want to know more about that you can either hit me up you know my information is below my cell phone and email um, but also Amy I'm pretty sure we'll be posting stuff on Facebook but if you want to know more information about silent auction items check it out she's actually be posting some digitally as well um, but overall um, people are coming out uh, we have silent auction items we have pe uh, we have our, our team that's going to be there and overall people are going to hear the vision of what's going on in the East End overall here what young life is and hopefully we, we, we hope to raise a good amount of money you know it is a fundraiser so we hope to do that but overall we are establishing something we now have something to look back on a year from now and say like, hey what went well what didn't go well what can we do how can we be more uh, inviting to the community and also we're allowing people to know like hey there's a need right here in the east end of Pittsburgh not in uh, not in eastern Pennsylvania not in southern Pennsylvania so southeastern Pennsylvania or any other part of Pennsylvania but there's a need right here and this is the way we can help and we want to come alongside those other areas as well and support them also but hey let's not forget that we have a we have a need right here and uh, that, that hopefully is just not being overlooked I, I know a lot of times when I talk to people they, they had no idea that Young Life even existed in this area. So I think it's gonna be great for a good amount of people to come come together and hear a little bit about what's going on in the East End of Pittsburgh. But then also, we're gonna have a little salsa dancing lessons and some cookies. So, you know, anyone that's coming to this and they see this, bring those dancing shoes. Uh, we're gonna have a great, great, great time. And I'm so thankful for Amy. Amy, we, life, gives you ups and downs and that's part of life it's what makes a life and we've been going through that for sure we've experienced uh, the ups and downs and we still know that God is good he is great his timing is perfect and so we are living into that we are leaning into that but through all this through all the ups and downs um, mainly ups but through the ups and downs uh, she's been so faithful and she's been crushing it she's like the event coordinator for this banquet and she has been doing a phenomenal job I love you so much Amy I hope you you know when you see this because you'll actually probably check this out before I send it and you'll critique me and let me know what I need to work on but I thank you so much I couldn't do any of this without you so thank you she's actually laying in the bed right now like snot nose and all and she probably doesn't want me to say that but she's gonna get she's gonna push through she's gonna get better and we're gonna knock this out so you can pray for the banquet you can be praying for my leaders as they start at the school um, as they start to build their own relationships with students um, you can pray for Amy and I that we know we just keep our eyes on the prize overall that you know young life is great but it is not the priority it is a priority but overall that we keep our eyes on the Lord through all situations and circumstances and know that God is good and he's uh, he's going to show up and he's going to show out and he's going to continue to keep us overall um, that's all I really have uh, if you haven't heard it from anyone else hear from me you are love you have meaning you have purpose you have value I love you guys 
I gotta get out of here before it starts raining again. Once again, if you have any questions about anything not related to Banquet, not related to Young Life, if you just have questions personally for me that you want me to know, take my information is at the bottom, my cell phone, my email is all down there. I hope all is well. I'll check you guys out soon. Peace.